Well, you already know the news. TikTok is getting banned. Or at least that's what everyone keeps saying. It's actually a lot more complicated because they actually have to sell in 9 months to a US buyer or then they'll be banned. But overall, we are closer to a TikTok ban than we've ever been before this. And as you can guess, everyone is acting very, very rationally about this. The only thing all 535 members of fucking Congress can fucking agree on is to ban TikTok. That's it. That's the only thing. Remember, kids, the next time that somebody tells you the government wouldn't do that, oh, yes, they would. You want to know my theory on why I think they want to shut down TikTok? because shit works when we band together. Buy two, get three free. It's because we're all boycotting. I'm going to show you three clips and prove to you that they're trying to ban TikTok because this app is pro-Palestinian. Yep, very, very rational. So now I'm just going to preface this with my personal opinion on the bill. I personally disagree with it. Now, on the one hand, it does make sense that the U.S. government doesn't want a foreign country, that's our top economic competitor, having the ability to use spyware on, us, on our citizens and potentially steal our data. But two things, virtually every app or website that requires you to put your email to sign up also has the same capabilities, but there's no mind paid to it because those are typically U.S. or U.S. friendly countries behind those. And also, banning a large social media app, yeah, that's a clear violation of quite a few standards we hold here. But my disagreement with this doesn't negate the fact that some people seem to be jumping to the most insane conclusions over this. Like, I get being upset that an app you like is in danger, I literally make videos there. You know, it sucks if it goes through, but holy cow. Like, first off, the notion that this is some sort of attempt to, refre to like repress free speech or stop movements is just dumb. Twitter literally has as much of an impact as TikTok would with these things, yet the government isn't trying to ban Twitter. Also, the notion that this is like a prejudice against Asian countries is equally bizarre. The United States is super buddy-buddy with South Korea and Japan. If China was our friend and not our top economic competitor, we probably wouldn't care about the fact that they have a spyware app. I mean, again, Nintendo and Sony, like Asian-related companies, we don't ban anything in that category. So it's it's just insane to assume that that's, that that's why they're doing this. But you want to know what's even crazier? The fact that people are now being negatively polarized into thinking that the CEO of TikTok, a corrupt CEO of TikTok, is somehow a good guy in heroic. I mean, look at this. <laughs> just look at this. This guy is not fighting for anyone's rights. He's fighting for the right to not have the inconvenience of divesting TikTok because he'll have slightly less power than he currently has. He's perfectly fine with spying on people and stealing their data, the same way Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg are. Money is his top priority as it is for every CEO on the planet. Nothing makes this guy good. It's also just, like, kind of bizarre and moderately, like, telling that TikTok became so desperate as this bill was going through that they tried to get all of their users, like they flashed on their page all of their US users, a lot of which being minors, to call and spam their government to not ban TikTok. Clearly they were desperate because there is something that they're gonna lose. Maybe we're gonna find out a lot more about the data that they've had about us. And I think that played a role into why they got so desperate and why they're so desperate not to divest. Like, there's really not much of a, cons of a conspiracy on this. It's a pretty simple explanation. TikTok is a China-affiliated app. China is our top competing country. China has potential spire with that app, and we do not want that. Like, if you live in any of these countries, you're going to have to make peace with the fact that some things you like could just go away because they're the product of an adversarial other country. This is how nation states work. This is geopolitics. It sucks, but it's just the reality. As for what I think this will lead to, the odds are TikTok will divest if push comes to shove. A large amount of their profits come from the US, and it would be a devastating blow to them like to be just cut off from that. That's why they desperately sent that message. And that's assuming this holds up in the courts, which is 50-50. So in reality, this may all just be a nothing burger, you know? Just, just another uh, scare that went away. But if TikTok is banned, What'll happen is the top creators will probably just migrate to YouTube Shorts or Instagram Reels and life will go on. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much it.